Hello guys, it's Ligabut255 and I'm here with another Ligger review. Tomorrow, from where I'm at at 10, no, November 5th, yesterday on November 4th was the, well I'm assuming the <laughs> birthday of Mickey Mouse. They ended up preparing a special on ABC, it was nice, I liked it. I wanted to do this video then, but I had my, but my phone was dead then, so I guess I'm doing this now. So I wanted to do this video for a while, and I even showed you this on my Walt Disney, on my Walt Disney World videos, and I'm going the first one. So let's do this already. And we are finally doing this. This is the Disney Castle. I wanted to do this video for a while now, and I am now doing it for you, celebrating an anniversary milestone for Disney a day later. Still sorry about that. Let's start off with the great minifigures. Let's start off with our one and only Mickey Mouse. Now this is a really nice version of Mickey Mouse. He has his, this is his outfit that he wears in the Disney parks. He has his he has his jacket over there, which is really cool. He's got his cool mole for his head and his ears. He also has a peg there if you want to put something in him. The uh, there is the his yellow bow tie and his red pants. That's there. He doesn't have his shoes on, but that's nice. It's still very detailed minifigure, and I'm so glad that this is that I have this here. Next up, we have Minnie Mouse. This is a really nice version of Mickey Minnie. All these things are based off of the Disney Parks characters, what they look like. This one shows how she looks like in her polka dot, polka dot attire with her red, red, with her red and yeah, way in white. She has her bow tie on top of her, and she has her eyelashes showing her difference between Mickey Mouse's character. It says, "Whoops, I dropped her." <laughs> You can see that she has her yellow. She has her, she has her yellow heels, and you can see some of the dress parts in there. And it really is nice. I like how they always did all these minifigures. I always applaud Lego when they end up doing these things like this. Next up, we have Donald Duck. This is the same one that they end up releasing in the Disney minifigure series. I'm positively sure that that's a fact. And right there, you can see he has his sailor outfit. He has his red bow tie. His sailor outfit. He has his little hat on. And he has his duck bill. He has his duck head. Really is a nice character, and he has his webbed feet over there. <laughs> Maybe they should have given him some other things, but it's still fine the same. Classic Donald. <clears throat> next we up, next up we have Daisy Duck. This is also a nice attire that she wears in the parks with her little, with her little out attire. She has her, she has her pink, pinkish, lightish purple heels, and her. The weather duck webbed feet showing there. She has her bow tie also on there. And the same old as Donald, except she has the bow tie and the eyelashes, but the eyeliner, which is nice. And then finally, we have Tinkerbell. The magical one of all, Tinkerbell. This really is a really nice character and it really exemplifies her about who she is. You can see there's her little dress and her little heels. If only they would have gone all the way around with, with all the other minifigures. Maybe they could have put some of the some white white circles in the center showing how that she has cotton balls that she always that she has the cotton balls on the edges of her heels she has her magic wand and her magic wings this is really cool and this is a really nice figure and a really nice hairstyle it really is nice and exemplifies how good Lego has been making their minifigures there is I don't think there was back printing just give me one moment as I you look at Cheshire Cat and as you can see, yeah, yeah, sorry, there's no back printing on the headpiece, and you can see it just look at Mickey for a moment. Sorry if any of these things are the, are the, <coughs> are the thing, are these the, uh, the thumbnails, thumbnail, thumbnails, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm dropping, okay, let's get on the castle already, because it's already getting a little bit, mom, okay. So this is a re this is all based off of the Cinderella's castle that can be found at Walt Disney World, at the Walt Disney World theme park Magic Kingdom. This is a really detailed castle. I am impressed of how they do this. You can just look at this thing and see how much detail they put into this thing. Even their towers and everything. There is a clock over there, and right there there is a little little crest over there. You can see there. There's a lot of things here. You can also a lot of things in here references to other things. Sorry. There is there is the princess and the frog. Over there with Naveen and Tiana as frogs. It's nice. <clears throat> and you can still see these things here. Like they're always so detailed. I love how that about Disney. 
<laughs> about Lego and what they do, especially with the when they do Disney. If only they make more. These are so good. And over here you can see that there is some windows which you'll be able to see later and the main tower. And over here is where you can find the fireworks station. It can be any firework station show you want. It could be wishes, it could be it could be uh happily ever after. I forgot what that was called, sorry. This yeah, all this is really nice. I like this. And it also had this the, that new piece that they ended up showing the designer video. That piece over there. That really, how that's can me looking like if I keep on adding them over together, it still looks the same. That's really nice. Even the towers, they're also detailed as well. Really detailed. Like you can see these things here. They're really detailed. And I like all the gold gold flashes on there. And let's finally get into the inside and show you everything about this thing. About why it's so great, how it's so great, and exactly why this is such a good set. Because this really is a good set. There you go. So here we have the entire castle. It really is. And also these, this part can be detached and also this part can also be detached. Over here, there it is. There, I'm playing there. <laughs> Sorry. Over there you can see the magic, the genie lamp and the magic carpet, which I really like. This is a really good part of the set. We have these statues of armor sitting around there and some flames showing how this is a castle. Also a chandelier is there and some few little plants. On this side you can see three shields. Also, a grandfather clock there, which I really like. They always pay attention to detail, and this one really does. And also, the center in there is phenomenal. I really like how they end up making that. That really was nice. Over here, we have the kitchen, which, which apparently it's, it's really it's supposed to be a reference to the Little Mermaid movie. They end up referencing this to the Little Mermaid, because with the chef's room when they end up when they were about to kill, cook when he was about to try killing cooking Sebastian into seafood which is really nice and also this thing right here it's just a pumpkin that's supposed to reference Cinderella there's all the bottles and cups in there it's a butcher's knife and a cauldron and a mop which I kind of feel like that's kind of a part of part I I feel like this is it could be either way it could be either Little Mermaid or Cinderella because she worked in the thing there but whatever I guess here we have the Beauty and Beast room, which I really like. They're Lumiere and the Red Rose, the Magic Enchanted Rose. And I really like the details of what they end up doing, how they made the drapes. Because that is phenomenal work. If Over here we have some things right here. You just lift this up and it reveals a hidden compartment. You can kind of see what's there, but I'll bring it out for you to show, show you what it is. First up, we have the glass slipper, which I really, really like. This is a really nice slipper. They, this is supposed to be the magic, yeah. Maybe you can see it better. I can kind of see. Ah, uh, you can kind of see it. Also in this thing, there's also a book. New type of book that they've been using since then. It shows the Cinderella's castle. I kind of think this is a thing from Enchanted. It's reference to Enchanted. We always use that stuff. And over there you can see there's Once Upon a Time in there. And they lost. And hold on. I'm going to grab the book cover. And there we go. We have the book cover now. <laughs> I'm dropping everything. Uh, yeah, I'll do I'll do that later. Okay, so let's get on more. Over there you can see there is archery. This is supposed to be a reference to Brave, which is really nice. And they also have detail on the inside too. It's amazing. Over here we have the Sorcerer's Apprentice section of Fantasia. For right here we have a mops, the mops that come to life because of this amazing piece here. This is the Sorcerer's Hat. They actually made a model of the sorcerer's head, and I love it. I love this so much. This is amazing. Yeah, it really is nice. There's also a book in there and a mop. A bucket for so you can end up putting these things on there, which is really nice. Over here, we have this spinning wheel. The spinning wheel that was used to curse Aurora into the deep sleep that she was put in. Which is really nice, and the spinning wheel is also so detailed. Which, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this a lot in this video that this is very detailed so is this area and it's not even that big and yet they detail it perfectly now let's go up to this room which I'm pretty sure is just a reference to Rapunzel because there is these things here 
there. It's really nice. I like them. I'm pretty sure this is 10 years old. I'm pretty sure this was. Which is really nice too. The bed is a bit extraordinary. And I like how they end up using the Unikitty tail piece for this thing. And the drapes are also amazing. Over here we end up having... I think this actually is a reference to... Yeah, this is a true reference to the Tangled movie. Or Rapunzel, if you want... That's what you want to call it. If you end up moving this here, you can end up seeing... Turn this thing up. You can see there is scissors. There's also some flames for the fireworks thing that's right here. You can end up shooting these things and they're going to fire out. But if I do this here, I'll never see them again. <laughs> yeah. There's... There's a, some faces for the firework, there's a brush here, and then a lock of hair. This thing right here, it's supposed to be a lock of hair, sorry. There's a lock, this is supposed to be a piece of Rapunzel's hair that she ended up cutting off. And then it turn, and if you've seen the thing, you know what happens, it turns turns black and you can't end up being magical again. It is nice. I like how they end up adding that detail in there. Over here we have the magic apple. There you can see, this is the, that's where it's shining. There's the camera. <laughs> There's the poison apple and then the magic mirror on the wall that will tell you who is the fairest of all. I really like this. It's so amazing. And also the detail with these things. They're also cool. Oh, fix that. There you go. It's also detailed. And then here is the top, the top part of the castle. <laughs> I don't even know if I can... Yeah, I can reach it. There's the golden spike that's a high piece of the tower, which is phenomenal. I really like doing that build. And there's also the deal on the size and everything. Okay, 100%. This is the most detailed set I've ever seen. Maybe the Ghostbusters has that. But this is a really cool, good, really good set. If I were to rate this, I would give it 5 out of 5 stars, even more. And I would love it if they actually even did more. They actually did more stuff like this more Disney stuff I would be um, I would be in awe to see what they would make next because if it was like this I would get it because this is for the last time I'm gonna say in this video amazing also also there's the doors right here you can open them up yeah yeah so this was my long review of this castle, and I'm sorry it is this long, but it needs to be this long. Because it because this set needs to be explained in full detail. Even here, it's so detailed. I'm gonna show you just go down the castle, just showing you everything, showing you how detailed it is. I'm sorry if this ended up taking up some of your time, but this needs to but you need to see everything, even that thing. Right there, right there. That's amazing. Now, I'm, I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see next after this. I think I may have, but for the Bricktober thing, I think I'm, th I'm going to have to end up doing that later. Because it's kind of stressing me out trying to get it out. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, eventually, I will get to the minifigure series. I'm just missing two things, and then I'm done. So, I hope you like this video, and bye!